everybody good day and uh, welcome to colorful threads embroidery and I am Juliet so one of the things that I've run across that's pretty common is this grabber let me move this out of the way Hang on. let's get this out of the way let's see what part we're talking about so I'm talking about this piece here you can see that this is your grabber trap this is the piece on your machine that when the grabber moves in, it tucks your threads into these little Velcro enclosure, holding it out of the way when you're doing your sewing. And sometimes this guy gets damaged for whatever reason, and you need to replace this piece. Um, this is what it looks like off of the machine. I'm gonna make sure and post a link where you can buy this assembly down below and we're gonna figure out how to replace this. This one is an actual damaged one. I'm gonna take mine off the machine and then I'm gonna put it right back on. But this is a damaged one. Let's see, it would be positioned something like this on your machine. And that's where this is wide. And when it gets wide here and damaged from the back, then it doesn't trap your threads and hold them in place for you. And they get caught up in your sewing causing some problems. So we're going to see how to replace this. You ready? Pull up a chair and be prepared because you're going to do things to replace this that's going to make you cringe. Are you ready for it? The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take off this little magnetic clip here. Just where your Velcro, not Velcro, this is the felt pads. We're going to take this piece off and you're just going to grab it. It's held on with magnets and you're just going to pull it off the machine and unthread everything. We're going to set this aside. Then we're going to pull out a pair of scissors and you're going to take all of your threads from the top here and get them loose and out of the machine. And this is the part that'll make you cringe. And we're going to cut them all. We need all of these off the machine and gone for this. I'm just going to ball this up and throw it away. All right. Next, I need my 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench out of your set that comes with the machine. And there's two screws on this front cover that holds it on. There's one on the right hand side and one here on the left hand side. So we're going to loosen and remove this screw completely from your machine. We're going to lay them in a safe place. Lay it in a safe place. Now, this cover is loose and free. Put my wrench back. Now you're just going to pull out slowly, wiggling this cover off the machine to get it off. Now, sit it back out of the way somewhere safe. Now we can actually get to all of the hardware that mounts this thing on here, which is two nuts on this right hand side that's holding this part here on. And then on this side, there's one screw that comes in from the front. So let's take those off and get this off the machine. I think this one is a three, so you'll need your three millimeter Allen wrench. We're just going to go straight into this screw and loosen it. I can't get a good turn on it. It's nice and tight from the factory. So if you need a little bit of leverage, grab you a pair of pliers. And you're just going to grab that Allen wrench and give it a nice turn so that it pops that screw loose. We're going to take the screw and the little washer and put it in a safe place with my other two screws. All right. Now we got to get these off. So there's two different ways that you can take this off. One is if you have a driver, like this is a driver that I like to use. The attachment is a seven millimeter. That's that screw there. The other thing you can use if you don't have this is your seven millimeter open ended wrench that you have for when you're doing your cable tension. Same size of nut. So we're just going to grab these and loosen them. Loosen and I'm just going to twist this one all the way off. Put it safe. Second one. I'm going to go 
get it loose and then twist that one all the way off. That one did not go in a safe place, somewhere on the floor. It's okay, we'll get it. All right, so now this is when you would have your old damaged piece, which looks like this one. Get it off the machine, you'll grab your new piece, and then you're gonna put it back on the way you just took your old one off. So kind of get it in. These two uh, screw heads kind of allow you a place to like fasten it on and let it lay down. My hoop arm is here, so it's laying on my hoop arm here just to kind of hold it in place. Now, I'm going to go back to my three millimeter Allen wrench, and I want to grab, because this is hanging on, I want to grab that three millimeter screw. Thank you. Gotta love the man behind the camera. Um, so we're going to take that three millimeter screw and we're going to make sure that we didn't lose our washer because that's a lock washer. It's to keep it from vibrating loose on us. And I'm just going to kind of sort of line these two pieces up and put this screw in. And I'm not going to go tight with this. I'm just going to get it in and on. I still want it to be loose and have play because we have to adjust it right here. Thank you. All right, now, leaving the play, we're gonna grab our two um, nuts that are the seven millimeter, and we're just gonna get them started and on. And again, we just want these things loose at the moment because all of this has to be adjusted now. And this is the hardest part is getting it adjusted because it's kind of scary. Because this thing goes all kinds of ways, but our grabber blade goes in one way. So now, we have the machine on, and we're gonna do the scariest part with this loose. We're gonna use our grabber and the bullseye, and we're going to tell this to go in. And it's kind of self-seated. So it's sort of got it all arranged, and then I just kind of wiggle it, vibrate it, just kind of get it so that it's all nice and seated where it needs to be. So it kind of adjusts itself with it in place. Now I'm going to go through and tighten these last uh, three things, right? So we're going to do our three millimeter and we're going to tighten this left screw nice and tight. I'm going to grab my seven millimeter open-ended wrench that we use to make sure these guys are tight. Not really the easiest to get to, but that's okay. That's why I like the driver, but this will work. Nice and tight. Now we're gonna check everything. So we're gonna do that grabber and that bullseye trick again. And we're gonna go in and out a few times just to make sure that there's no problem. If it has some issues, or something is rubbing or something, then I would just say loosen them all back up, give it a little readjust, and try again. Once you get it flowing in and out and it's moving like it should, we're almost done. Now you have to do the longest part, which is put it all back together. So when you put your cover back on, the hardest part is going to be getting these fins on your take-up levers. So that's the part you got to kind of look at and wiggle. Everything is a wiggle, right? To get it into place. All right, and let's see. I have my two little screws and I'm gonna need my 2.5 millimeter wrench again to put my screws for my cover back on. I'm going to double check up here that it's all placed well, all looks good. And then I'm going to find where I laid my little magnetic cover. Verify before you put this guy back on that there's nothing attached to these magnets on the back. Make sure there's no broken needles or pieces of needles or tools that have attached to these. Once that is clear, just going to place it back on the machine and let it snap into place. If you need to maybe wiggle it to get it lined up, you can. All right. We are reinstalled and we're ready to go. 
I'm not going to suffer through threading the machine with you, but the next thing I have to do before I can sew now is re-thread all of my threads. So, if you enjoyed my content, please click the subscribe button. A thumbs up always helps with the videos. And have a wonderful day. Happy sewing, happy embroidering, and I'll see you next time.